This is a real YouTube channel, but this is a YouTube channel which is being ran completely by AI. And in this video, I'm going to be starting a brand new channel from nothing and seeing if AI can overtake my own channel in just one month. Trust me, you want to watch this video because the results are insane. So back to the start of the month. I need to figure out what content I'm going to make or the... AI will be making, so let's get to researching. And after hours of scouring the internet and watching some of the most brain dead content on YouTube, I think I found the best video I could possibly make with AI. And this type of video includes shorts and shower thoughts and other irrelevant information. But how am I going to make these videos? Or how will AI make these videos? See, whilst researching, I managed to see firsthand the sheer success these channels have had, with channels such as Evax gaining millions of subscribers, with all them having to do is recording a voiceover and getting AI to do the rest. So to make our first short, we somehow need to tick off all of these aspects of the creative process solely with AI. So let's get good old chat GPT to think of five shower thoughts, as we can see here. And well, it doesn't even have to be shower thoughts. It can be anything that you could possibly think of that doesn't really have any sort of relevance or valuable information within it. And then let's copy them over to some random text to speech I found. And just like that, we have our script and voiceover done. But how on earth are we going to edit this without doing anything? Well, you can. Well, you can, but you can't. See, there are many ways that you can get AI to edit your videos, but if I'm going to tell the truth, you can't just hand your scripts over to AI and expect it to produce a YouTube optimized video, which has specific elements and a specific pacing that holds the viewer's attention. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be editing the video myself. But if you're following along at home, by all means, go ahead and use something like InVideo just so that you can have the true YouTube automation experience. But when I say edit, I use this term very loosely. By edit, I mean writing subtitles, putting images on the screen, and putting some thrilling top tier minecraft gameplay in the background so i'm going to do that and i'll get back to you once i'm done okay so that didn't take that much effort and this is the final result the rest of the galaxy know the earth exists but agreed not to contact us shower thoughts when you say forward or back your lips move in those directions try it for yourself i've woken up over 10,000 times and i'm still not used to it when a company offers me a better price after i cancel my subscription they're just admitting they're overcharging me somewhere in the world there's somebody with your dream job that hates going to work every day that seems very weird now that the video is fully prepared we could finally get to uploading and that would be a good time to mention that throughout this month i'm going to be or ai is going to be uploading every single day so that i can have the best possible chance of overtaking myself. But I'll check back with you when this video has been up for a day. All right, so it is the next day and the video has done nothing. I'm not joking. The video has gotten one view and that view was me. But not to worry, I still have 10 shorts action packed with words from JatGBT so that I still have a chance of going viral and finally defeating my own channel once and for all. Editing Ben here and I actually find this very funny now that the challenge is over because, well, actually, I'll let you see at the end of the video. And it is now the next day and I can confidently say that good old chat GPT over here has managed to expand its audience dramatically. One of the shorts now has 5,000 views and I've just posted the next one in the hope that it will magically do the same. But this was the point in the experiment when I started to question myself. Will these shorts actually do well? I'm only a couple days in and I've made literally two identical videos and one of them is sitting on five views and the other 5,000 views. And this is when something clicks about the YouTube shorts algorithm that I definitely did not realize before. Beforehand. As you can see, both of these shorts don't have a story, structure, or even really any sort of entertainment factor to them. They have no ingrained strategy to hold the audience retention or even to make people click on the shorts. They literally just consist of words and text to speech and some pretty epic Minecraft gameplay, but that's besides the point. And this made me realize something. See, with mainstream long videos, if the video is good and optimized for views, it will go viral. If it isn't, then it won't. But with shorts, you could make a video that has the potential to go viral but especially when it's a new channel, it sometimes just won't. I've seen this sort of unpredictability with so many channels that I've researched. If we just look through Evax's channel, the inspiration for my shorts, we can see that some videos do quite well, with some sitting around 800,000 and 600,000 views. But then some are barely able to reach 100,000 views, with some sat on 60,000 views, and some not even reaching 20,000 views. And before shorts, this sort of thing would be unheard of. Having a video sat on 18,000 views with every single video around it being able to reach at least 600,000 views. So will the channel end up picking up? Well, at the moment, it's looking very, 
unlikely. Never mind, it is a few days after the last bit of recording and the channel is now averaging 30,000 views a day and I'm beginning to decide what model of Lamborghini I'm going to buy. One video has managed to hit just over 40,000 views and a few other crossing the 30,000 and 10,000 views mark. My watch time is going through the roof, looking like I'm averaging around 300 watch hours a day. My subscribers are skyrocketing, gaining just over 200 subscribers every single day. AI has made this measly little channel hit the algorithm and I finally made a channel go viral. Well, AI has, but we'll just ignore that. But after all of these views, subscribers, and watch hours, have I managed to take over my personal channel, the channel which I've put hundreds upon hundreds of hours into and dedicated so much effort to? And most importantly, has it hit YouTube's monetization requirements? And if so, how many Lamborghinis can I afford? Well, without further ado, let's take a look at the results. So, in conclusion, by the end of the month, I managed to gain 150,000 views, with four videos in total getting over 10,000 views. Around the growth period of this channel, I was averaging around 30,000 views a day, but as we go a bit more towards the quieter parts of the channel, I was managing around 1,000 views a day. But with all of these views and all of this sudden attention, did my shorts manage to get me over the monetization line? After all, these videos were quite long for shorts at roughly 30 seconds in length. But the answer is no. In fact, I wasn't even really that close. At the end of the month, I ended up with roughly 950 hours of watch time, which isn't even a quarter of the way to monetization, which is understandable. I was only uploading shorts. So although shorts can gain a little bit of attention and watch time over the short term, if you're looking to push your channel over the finish line of monetization, I would still highly recommend uploading long form videos, as you can also build an actual audience off of them. Because as you can see from the month after this experiment, I did not build an audience. But I know the question that you're asking. Did AI manage to overtake my own personal channel, which I've put so many hours of hard work into? Well, considering it's got over two times the amount of views in just a month, I actually managed to not overtake my own channel. But wow, was I close. I ended the month at around 630 subscribers, which is scarily only 50 subscribers off this channel which you're watching right now. And this was achieved over the course of a month by artificial intelligence. So that begs the question. If I continued, would AI be able to make me money and actually make me 100% passive income? Well, if you want to know the answer to this question, then consider subscribing and I might do this again and take it even further. And if you actually liked the look of this video, then make sure to click the first link in the description and consider hiring me as a video editor.